Well, good morning, and welcome out to Musselin Temple. See, I told you I would bring you here. I get the feeling it's going to be a very short vlog this morning. Um, conditions are nice. Sunrise is about 25 minutes away. Um, but there's not a huge amount of compositions up here at Musselin Temple, but given the fact that I spoke about it, I thought I would just bring you up. And also the added benefit it puts me in close proximity to a couple of little woodlands that I want to explore later on. I actually think I'm going to maybe get the drone out. Um, maybe. Just to see. Because I, I think actually there's a little bit uh, better potential. Now, this time of year, we don't get the sun rising over the horizon, visible horizon. So we won't get the sort of optimal light. And we certainly won't get the optimal light sort of on this right hand side because it's going to be cast in the shadow so that may scupper the drone image as well but we'll see what we can come up with there you go enough said pre-dawn sort of glow is, is quite nice and even though I said there was not many clouds in the sky there's a couple of little wafty ones that are actually helping to sort of fill in some of the spaces above Missoula. Now as I say there's there's a couple of compositions that you can sort of achieve here using a regular tripod and camera. Uh, one of them being you'll quite often see people hop this wall and Shoot, shoot that way, um, which which certainly can can work. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be any advantage this morning because of the direction the sun's going to be coming. I think that part of the wall is going to be cast in in, in shadow. Um, obviously, this is a, a very popular location at sunset as well. Um, later in the year, well, a couple of weeks time probably, the sun will be setting out on the horizon here and casting some really nice light. Um, onto the building. I'll bring you up here at sunset as well at some point. Um, now they have, they're obviously getting ready for uh, folks to arrive and they're doing a lot of sort of maintenance work, not least some grass recovery. Now I am certainly someone who is very much for that and so I'm not going to jump across this this little, even though no one's stopping me, I'm not going to jump across this little so the string fence and neither should you. Um, I'm not sure how well it'll come out in the frame, but as I said, there is a, a lovely inversion sort of creeping up lock foil. So, so it's really just at the moment, it's a horizontal composition. Now, the big glaring kind of meh in the, in the image is obviously there is a, an information point um, sort of halfway through the frame. Now, shooting, I could obviously move my uh, position around a little bit or shoot in a portrait orientation to get rid of that. Um, but I quite like the sort of curve of, of the wall. Again, it's going to be interesting once that sun rises how much my carcass casts a shadow in, in the frame. But I'll carry on shooting a couple of sort of pre-sunrise images here and um, I'll throw those up and then we'll wait for the sun to pop over the horizon. Ooh, in fact, I can see, so I think the sun has actually just risen. There is a, as I said, there's, it, it's, it's rising over the east coast of Northern Ireland, so we don't see it at sunrise. Um, there is then a very small bank of clouds, but then there's a reasonable gap, so fingers crossed we get a nice bit of soft light. <laughs> Wow, so really, as I thought, really lovely soft light and I've actually ended up hopping over the little wall, as I, as I said. So the string fence, there's just, there's just nothing really compositionally wise, but... So, and again, even over here, there's not a huge amount of sort of composition choices. Works probably best in a wider horizontal view, but I'll, I'll throw on a, a portrait view as well. Um, but yeah, just some lovely light. Now, as I said, with the position of the sun, 
there's a fair amount of this wall on the left hand side that isn't getting any of that light sort of give it another couple of weeks when the sun is rising more out of the horizon or certainly at sunset when it's over that way uh, this gets bathed in much more light but not bad as a starter for 10. I think what's also helping is um, that little bit of mist hanging over lock foil and a little bit of that light sort of casting onto the onto the beach oh watch i gonna come out Whoa, hang on a minute Sorry for throwing you upside down there. Right, so I probably will. I'll probably throw up a little portrait image as well. Now the clouds, as I said, weren't weren't that great here. Out the sea and further east, they look absolutely beautiful. And as was the case the last time I was up here, um, the uh, mist over to the east is beautiful. Right, I'll throw up these images and then we'll go see what else we can see. I just had the drone up there actually. I'm, I'm always in a bit of a quandary with the drone. I mean, don't get me wrong, the perspectives that you can get with it are, are quite fun. But I'm still not a fan of, of breaking the ambience of a beautiful sort of morning, just lovely. In fact, I was watching some porpers. There was uh, two or three of them sort of up the uh, coastline here, beautiful. And then I thought, you know what, where I'm standing really does, you know, as I thought, you're just casting your own shadow. So I hopped back over the wall again, uh, got another couple of images with the sun sort of for a bit a bit harsher and then I thought you know what let's have a little bit of a play with the drone um, now I've got three batteries for the drone uh, but none of the none of them were at full charge so we only got about four or five minutes out of each each one um, but I played a little bit about with with that and you know I I should use the drone more and I think it just comes from from confidence you know you send it you kind of see your drone sort of sail off into the distance and you think is that the last time I'm going to see it not helped by the fact that now this morning, not a breath of wind, it's beautiful. That's very unusual for the Causeway Coast. Uh, we're normally getting sort of buffeted around by, by, by the wind. And also we've got a lot of nesting birds, filmers in various bits and pieces. Um, the filmers don't tend to go near the gull, but the big herring gulls, they're just angry buggers. They just like to attack your drone. And they really don't want to cause any damage to bird or machine. But yeah, Quite a short vlog this morning, as I thought it would be. Now, I will come back up here again, probably later in, in, in the year when, both at sunrise and at sunset, when we have the sun rising right over the, the horizon, just to sort of check out the positions, but especially at sunset and maybe get a shot um, up, up here. I think I've said this before, you know, I, I find myself avoiding, would this be a honeypot location? I guess it would be avoiding honeypot locations and it's it's ridiculous because it's it's a beautiful place yes it's been shot many many times before and i'm sure there's many images out there that are going to be you know in much better conditions than we had this morning but not a bad not a bad way to spend a couple of hours before you have to go into to work on a 10 to 3 today so it's not too bad that mist that was over lock foil has now sort of started to dissipate and one of the things I find when I'm uh, up up here at uh, Musadin is the views over to Donegal and I cannot cannot wait to get back traveling again the the current situation not least uh, from, from the business side of things and the fact that I've had to take on a, a non photography job but more than that the travel it, I'm really starting to feel it now, I really am. Um, and especially when I come up places like this and you can just see across the foil. The borders are closed at the moment, we cannot get into um, Ireland, Southern Ireland. Uh, but over there at um, Shrove Lighthouse and Shrove Jetty, just just beautiful. Um, Kinnegu Bay, oh. So, 
fingers crossed we do get to do. We do have, I probably will throw this out there at some point, what our sort of plan A, plan B, plan C is, depending on how things open up or not. I might jump into the into the van and do a little Fridays from the van. Anyway, I am rambling. Well, this has been beautiful. Come here at sunrise, bring a coffee, which I didn't. Watch out for the poor horse. And just all together, have a rather fabulous morning. Right, well, I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to go back and check out a couple of more little woodlands as part of my sort of spring recon mission. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye bye.